Hi guys, it's Larry from Oregon Coast. It's a beautiful 65 degree day out here. It's June 24th. All you guys on the East Coast, sorry about the heat, but over here on the West Coast, we're going to enjoy the nice, cool day. Anyways, I've been watching some YouTube videos and um, saw something that caught my eye were these five gallon hydroponic uh, bucket setups. So basically, don't want to try hydroponics where we got a hydroponic uh, tower going on. I know it, and it's working good. But um, I want to try it with compost tea. And uh, I want to see if compost tea is enough to keep a plant alive, growing, and pr producing fruit. So here, I got this extra cherry tomato that I started from seed. And this is an extra one. I was going to give it away. I already gave away a few of them. But um, I want to try this one. I want to see if this, if this is going to work. So I just got a five gallon bucket laying around. Grabbed the lid. Three and five eighths, <coughs> sorry, three and five eighths inch hole saw. Hold dead center. And I just got my uh, Oregon Ducks, uh, go Ducks drinking cup. I had an old one laying around. I'm like, ah, didn't want to waste it. So let's put it to good use. Maybe we'll bring some good luck here. And that's going to work out just perfect. Got some exp expanded uh, clay shells here in here. And then, so all I need, okay, so we got that part down. Sorry. The lid, plant container, and I got my old bag. I bought some, uh, Uncle Jim's uh, worms beginning of the year. I saved the bag. I save everything. I don't know why, but I just do. So, anyways, I got, I filled a bag full of uh, cow manure that's been uh, composted already and it's good to go. It's not hot anymore. So, I'm going to put, the, I'm going to use this and the air bubbler. Everyone will see if we can get this plant to grow. Well, the next this step is I'm going to grab my. Uh, cherry tomato plant and we're going to carefully empty upside down real slow and just try to get the dirt off of it and so got and see it's kind of root bound right now so what we're going to do I'm going to soak it in a five gallon bucket of water and try to get all the soil we can can off of this all right well I got most of the dirt off it and uh I didn't get all out, but I didn't want to damage the roots, so um, I think that's good enough. I, I just don't want to really uh, worried about uh, damaging the roots. Anyways, there she is. Will it produce? We'll find out. So I got my Oregon Ducks cap, cup, cap, cup, and a little bit of sh uh, expanded shell clay balls on the bottom. I'm gonna put her down. So, whatever we kind of feel like, and we're we'll, uh, finish filling the cup up with the shell. All right. Well, anyways, for the water, I added a couple gallons of my uh, aquaponics water. I have a fish tank there in the greenhouse, a little one, and I just took a couple gallons out of the, out of the fish tank, put it in here. And now I'm getting ready to move this in the greenhouse. So, we get in the greenhouse. I'm going to add my little bag here of uh, cow manure, put our air stone in there, and then uh, rock and roll, see what happens. Alright, I got my bucket where I want it set up here, set up at here in the greenhouse. So anyways, I, I just added the, the bag of steer manure, got my air bubbler in there, and I got my, you know, it's all ready to go. It's going right now. Well, one of the things about the water is that um, I did take couple gallons out of my fish tank and there is some maxi crop in there so in this experiment here I just want to use nothing but comp my compost tea just to see if that works so I'm um, real cur curious to see if this if there's enough nutrients and uh, minerals in it to keep this thing alive um, in about a week I'm gonna put um, a 50-50 mix of worm castings with the steer manure in the bag, so I'm gonna change out the um, change out the bag about once a week. I'm gonna start with that and see if that uh, what happens there. But anyways, I want to talk 
talk about a couple things in uh, about my what well, I got set up here. Um, basically, I just had some a uh, leftover bucket laying around. Well, a good thing, it's free and it's white, and I can see the water level. The bad thing is that being a clear white bucket, I'm I'm worried about algae growth. So I'm gonna pay close attention to see what happens with what happens with algae growth here. Well, my free cup here, my free organ dust cup. I like this cup, one, because it's free. Two, I love my ducks. And three, it's got longer base here. And it's longer depth here for the roots. I'm hoping this will give it a little bit more structure. And I only put the water depth to about right, see where my thumb's at? Right about there. So the rest of this is going to be all dry. Basically, the roots will be wicking up through here. I was worried about too much water, so um, hopefully that will keep the roots from rotting. And there we go. So, kind of curious if, I, if I'm going to need to string this up in a week or two, if it's going to be alive. Is co this compost tea have enough nutrients and minerals and everything else to keep this thing alive? I don't know. We'll see how good this stuff is. We'll take a quick peek in here. Bubbling away. Water is a little green from the fish water and the maxi crop, but I'm not going to add any more maxi crop to the system here. So it's going to use nothing but what I was talking about compost tea, some worm castings next week, and uh, can't wait to see what happens here. Alright, guys, got any questions, comments, or any other crazy ideas that you want to throw at me? Go for it. Alright, have a good one.